Hello, YouTubers. It's Thanksgiving Day, and I'm at home. I didn't hunt today. I usually hunt Thanksgiving morning, but I decided not to this year. Anyway, um, if any of you watch national news, our wonderful governor of Oregon made national news, but not in a good way. She's trying to lock everything down more and more. She's became a ruthless dictator. She's a tyrant. And she's going to continue to run amok until people stand up to her. I don't know when that's going to be. Case in point, the newest order for the holidays is, okay, she went back to, because of increased coronavirus cases, she went back to, uh, making all restaurants takeout only and one of the mom and pop stores can't even be open and in addition to that holiday gatherings have to be limited even at your house to no more than six people at your house okay well our family were within the limits but that's only because I don't have enough family if I had enough family, family that was coming here, I would deliberately violate her rules because they're unconstitutional. We have rights. This is the United States of America, damn it. It's high time that people start remembering that. At some point, people are going to have to stand up to the governor. She's just going to continue to add more restrictions. She's talking about closing restaurants now to save lives. I'm sick of it. I've had enough of this parade. Uh, the death rate's gone way down. But all they do is emphasize how many cases there are. And I don't believe the test. Uh, I think Elon Musk it was. Elon Musk, Tesla cars executive and uh, SpaceX. I think he took four tests and two of them came up positive and two of them negative. So uh, there's no reliability. My sister-in-law is a nurse and she tells us that uh, a lot of people who are administering, administering the test are not doing it correctly and she has to show them. In addition to that, uh, since colds and various other things are a form of coronavirus, they're related, they could show up as COVID-19 in the test. Now, I'm not 100% sure of that, but I'm probably about 80% sure. So, uh, and the health officials, they don't emphasize anything about flu or any other illnesses. All there is is COVID-19. That's all that exists. Everything's COVID-19 while I'm sick of it. I'm just waiting for him to ask me to wear a mask when I go hunting. I won't. The only reason I wear a mask in the stores is because they won't let me shop there if I don't. I think I already had it back in March anyway. Because I had a mystery illness, didn't know what it was, had a fever, lasted about a week, and a week, week and a half, and then I got over it. So, and if my immune system's working the way it usually works, probably won't get it again. Of course, there are certain precautions I take. I always wash my hands. I've always done that. I try not to get excessively close to people. I've always done that. <coughs> And I don't inhale when someone's breathing near me. The point is, our governor is a tyrant. There's a governor back east, I can't remember what state it is, but I'm told that they actually ordered their citizens to wear a mask even in their own house. I mean, come on, man. That's Joe Biden who put it. Come on, man. I'm not playing this. This is the United States of America, we have rights, and with freedom comes danger. 
I can't believe how many people are willing to trade away a little of their freedom, a little of their time, for what they think is more safety. Because eventually, it'll be a complete nanny state. It'll be a complete socialist and then communist state if it continues to move in that direction. Now, I'm not for wars, and I'm not for bloodshed, but it may come to that. Biden and his presidential running mate, they vow to take guns away. That's their mission. Because once they get guns, then they don't want firearms from them. They can get away with imposing more rules, and what's everyone going to do? Cry? Wake up, America. Those of you who are not awake need to wake up quick. Because we have a serious problem running. And in closing, I'll say this. Where we go one, we go all.